Hello and welcome to Lessoncilla. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can downgrade from Windows 11 to Windows 10. Now, if you have recently upgraded to Windows 11 from Windows 10, and it has been within 10 days, there's a much easier way that you can go back. In order to go back, what you can do is click on the Windows icon, click on Settings, search for Recovery Options, and under Recovery Options, you will see an option called Go Back. And this is only when you have upgraded from Windows 10 to Windows 11, and it has been only within a 10-day period. Now, this machine here, it came with Windows 11. So, in order for me to downgrade this to Windows 10, I will need to do a clean installation of Windows 10. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a clean installation of Windows 10. Now bear in mind that if your new laptop or desktop computer came with Windows 11 pre-installed, it is a good idea to consider before you make the switch to Windows 10 because some hardware might be optimized to work with Windows 11. So double check and think twice if you really wanted to go back. Anyway, let's go ahead and see how it's done. So the first thing to do is go into this link. It'll tell you all about how you can create an installation media for Windows. Now, obviously, there are a bunch of Windows versions, but we're interested in Windows 10. And once you click on this link, it will take you to this window here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and download the installation media creator tool. OK, that's been downloaded. Let's go to downloads. And basically, we're going to just run this setup. This may take a couple of minutes. I'm going to pause the video. It seems like it's taking a bit longer than usual. And when this comes back, I will restart the video. OK, now we're here. Click Accept. Once again, it seems like it's taking a bit longer than usual. Let's give it a minute. All right, so you will be presented with this option. Click Upgrade this PC now and hit Next. And what this will do is this will download Windows 10 and install Windows 10 on your computer that's got Windows 11 pre-installed. Now this process is going to take a while so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video and once this process is completed, I will start the video again. Okay, welcome back. Um, so now we're at this stage. Um, the process took a little longer than I expected. Uh, now you will be presented with this window after the 
uh, tool downloads Windows 10 and goes through its process. So I'm going to click accept in here. In this case, I am only given the option to completely delete everything. Um, I cannot click on the other two options. As you can see, they're both grayed out. So as I mentioned before, if you really want to downgrade, make sure you back up all of your files um, as well. Um, so you can install them back once um, you have got Windows 10 up and running. So for this example, I'm just going to continue. Click yes. Now this process can also take a little while. Let me pause the video and um, I'll start it back once we're ready to move to the next stage. Okay, so now it went through a stage where it looked for the updates as you saw. And now um, we're here. Um, as you can see on the screen, um, it is ready to install Windows 10 Pro. Um, Obviously, I'm downgrading from Windows 11 Pro to Windows 10 Pro. If you um, were to downgrade from Windows 11 Home, in here it will show as you're downloading. You're da sorry, you're downgrading to uh, Windows 10 Home. Now, one thing to keep in mind is uh, the registration key or the activation key for your Windows operating system. Um, the one with Windows 11 should work with Windows 10 as well. Um, and vice versa, as long as it's um, a proper key. Um, and all you have to do now is go and hit install. So this is going to go and install Windows 10, as you can see. Um, and during this process, the press the PC will restart a few times, and it will um, start as a brand new um, operating system. Um, and you'll have to start uh, creating a user account and reinstall um, your preferred software um, and um, you have to put back uh, any backed up data that you um, backed up before the downgrade. Um, so yes, it's uh, a bit of a daunting process if you're doing it for the first time, but um, this way you will um, be able to go back to Windows 10 if you have to. But as I mentioned before, um, think twice about the decision. Um, do it only if you have to. Otherwise, I strongly recommend that you stay on the latest uh, operating system. For Windows, it is Windows 11, of course. Um, I will put the links that to those Microsoft websites um, in the YouTube uh, description box below. Um, so you guys can check it out as well. Um, I hope you learned something new today. If you did, please like this video. Um, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.